My name is Angela and I've been cheated on many times and I don't like to go into a relationship with that baggage. How much time should I wait for to pursue another relationship or allow a guy to pursue me? It's sort of what Mark was asking too. He's saying how he's sort of affected by the cheating, can't trust anybody. Yeah, you take, I think the best thing to do is to take it as knowledge, try to remove yourself and think, it, think of it as like almost a doctor would, like just very clinical. Say, okay, what am I gonna do right the next time? That sort of thing. And then wait until you get over the guy, because you don't want to be bitter, because we'll pick right up on that. And don't be so be open arms to anybody like Jesus. Wait a minute, you're not the life changer. You don't get the car. <laughs> you got the car. Like today. <laughs> <laughs> Simone, go ahead. I put it you're implying that this beautiful woman did something wrong. Yeah, My advice have. is that love has made a fool out of all of us, including the next person you meet. So yeah. take your armor, go slow, but have faith in love. You're just being nice. Let me tell you something, the world is not nice. Relationships can be really tough. So get your game face on. Let me ask you this. How many months should pass after a bad breakup before you should try to get involved it's, again? It's my rule of thumb. Dr. Drew is it's one month to heal for every three months you were together. And anybody in this room that's broken up or been dumped, you can kind of see that that we, actually- uh, Up to a maximum of probably six months. Or, to, or 17 years. 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mark, would you- uh, hmm? Would I- Do you understand? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, can, we, can, we, can see, we can see what works out after the show. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs>